Ooh, they're in Facebook. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to SketchUp Live. Welcome to Friday. <sighs> we all made it. We're all here. How's everybody's doing? Vishal, John, how are you guys doing? Hi, Prasath. Uh, Winton, Andrew, Gamborg, welcome back. Hey, Kai, how's it going? Oh, I'm glad you guys are all here. This is going to be a fun one. This is going to be, I don't know, your secret code. When I say something's going to be fun, that's secret code for I don't really know what we're going to do here. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be an adventure. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be something. That was really something. So hope everybody's doing good out there. Good good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good good day or night, good good tomorrow. Good. It's not yesterday for anybody, but it could be tomorrow, right? But for them, it's today. I mean, it's always today. Yeah, I guess so. Time is yeah, relative. I don't think I've ever that big quick reek tube back there in your, in your, over oh, your yeah. shoulder. What are you making back there? I, uh, <laughs> I made a large foam mallet out of that. So, oh, okay. Thanks, Chris. There's also a, uh, I got it. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me censor this, but I do have a mannequin back here too. So, uh, yeah. Hope everything's going, going good back there or out there in the world. Hope everybody is still staying safe and having a good time, best time they can. I think that's, uh, that's the goal to making it through this whole mad, mad world we're in is just enjoy what you can. That could be the, the soundtrack right now. That's right. A song, mad world. Yeah. Yes, it could. It's crazy. Every once in a while, something happens where I remember, just how weird everything that's going on is now and how far away we are from the, the, the rest of my life, which has been what I would consider normal. All right, guys. Well, so <laughs> is, it, is it worth mentioning? We had had our office talk about when we're going back to our office and it's not soon. No, we will be broadcasting from the, the Longmont branch of our SketchUp studio for a while. It's gonna be a bit before we, we get to it. No, it's not a sketch. It's not a, everybody asks it's a chess clock. It's not a chess clock. It's actually just a thermometer and humidity gauge. So I just keep the thermometer in here Kai to see how hot that. or cold it is. Kai's been around enough. I think he would have heard that question. Oh. Sometimes Kai, I wonder when someone is just being, they're just doing it because it's gotta be asked. I think, I think Kai runs a little on the sarcastic side and I know that because we can smell our own. <laughs> that's that's not really a great way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we can sense our own. We uh, there you go. That's a little better. Yeah, that's, I can't smell you, Kai. <laughs> All right, I'm moving on. Hey guys, welcome. If we have not met before, I am Aaron. Uh, with me on in voice only is my friend and coworker Jody. I'm actually a real person. He Don't is. Let him fool you. Yeah, we recently actually had somebody see him and be like, oh. Hey, like kind of surprised <laughs> to find that he was a real person. So, like, no, that's that's not just the hey. my laptop talking. Uh, um, Andy's already asking over on the forum if we need submissions for low poly humans. What's uh, what's the plan there? Uh, no, I have a shape of a human, so I have a general shape that I'm going to shoot for, and uh, I want to I want to go with that. And I just want to see how low how low poly we can keep a human. So we may actually end up modeling several people here. I don't want to try to do a highly detailed person. It's, I mean, I love the challenge, but SketchUp's not the thing to make a detailed human. That's I mean, you guys should probably already know that. You can do it. You can make it do stuff, but uh, our time's going to be better spent making the kind of files or images that uh, you know SketchUp does do a good job of. And a low poly human's actually going to be Pretty easy, I think. Um, we'll talk about it some more as we start moving in here. So I do want to mention a couple things. So we'll start with, of course, uh, our forum. So I did create a uh, forum entry for this. So I don't know that we'll have a lot of 
images to pass back and forth. But if you guys want to share your version of what we model, that's awesome. I will put the link to the final model that we, I create and post the 3D warehouse in here. Um, like I said, not a, not a lot of reference imagery I don't think is needed. So uh, yeah, it's there in case, in case we want it. Uh, the <laughs> somebody's asking if we can make a one poly human is as long as your human is okay looking like a rectangle then we could make that work <laughs> well so if you're like me and you're just a voice zero poly that's right i'm the lowest of polys although i do like the suggestion that i'm actually jarvis although i don't have a classy english accent <laughs> It's an American Jarvis. It's uh, I don't know what's what's an American Beavis? version of Mavis. <laughs> Was it Beavis? <laughs> I don't like what what implication that puts on me then. So, um, so, so here's what we did. We're kind of in a weird spot right now, and I just kind of feel like we should just go with it. Uh, we did. I told you guys that we were going to come into this. Oh wait, hold on. I'm getting a message. Oh, hey, Jody. Hey. Can you, on the forum, send our special guest a link to this, uh, to this, the, the, uh, the meet that the we're chat? using? Yeah. Sure. Apparently, he did uh, not I get the invite I sent, so. Okay. Let's, let's see what happens. All right. So, <laughs> here's the thing. We did pick our first winner of the finish this house challenge uh unfortunately it looks like something happened with the invite the invite did not get to that person so uh we will tap dance a little bit over here while he signs on because uh, we did have somebody and i wanted to show you what it was uh but i guess we'll give him just a second to get signed on uh for those of you who don't know we are doing a contest not a con I use the term contest. It just kind of falls out of my mouth. It's, we're using the term challenge. Um, I don't know. There's a slightly different interpretation of those two terms, really. But the idea is uh, we, we shared through our forum a template of a house, kind of the shape of a house. And we're asking you guys to take it, finish it, and then post it. And then what we want to do is every week or two pick somebody who's, who we liked, who inspired us, something like that, and... Uh, just call it out, share it out. And what we'd like to do, and I can't say this is always going to be the option, uh, that this is always going to work, but we would like to get uh, those people on the show and just uh, say hi to them and let them walk us through their, uh, their, their entry. So with that, I was hoping to hear the ding right as I finished that and we'd be, we'd be going. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist. Shooting for perfect timing. <laughs> okay, He's let me just have one more sip and then we'll move the on. Ding. Yeah. Well, I, so I sent it, but I don't, I, the question is, I grabbed it as my invite and then sat, so I don't know if that would. We'll see what happens. I, I, I hope it works. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Maybe we'll he'll see show up with happens. me. That's All true. All of a sudden I start sounding like myself. That's right. I don't know. Um, yeah, so, so here's, here's what, let me give you guys a, a, a general idea of what I want. So we get, I get this request a lot to model a human, model a person, model, you know, um, and like I said, SketchUp's just not the ideal thing to do a high res image of a human. You could do it. You'd probably want to use something like some subdivision tools, something like that. But uh, our, our warehouse is full of low poly humans and low, low poly people shapes. Oh, I heard the ding. I did too. <laughs> All right. I'm behind door so, number two. Is... So here we go. Uh, we did have a winner, or not, the, the first uh, person of interest. No, that sounds, that sounds even worse. <laughs> the first entry that we wanted to dive deeper into was actually the first person who submitted. And that was Jono from the forum. Hey, welcome, Jono. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Good to be on. Sorry, sorry about the, not sending the link to the right spot. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Jono. That's okay. I... Go ahead. Oh. So, uh, 
Jono's entry was actually the first entry. So if we go all the way up here to the top of the entries and come down, this was the first one. And if you guys remember, Jono took our house shape and flipped it sideways, stuck it into the side of a building. And then uh, actually uh, down here, about a dozen entries later, resubmitted with some additional modeling, which is all, it's all part of it. You guys can submit, resubmit as often as you want. So I actually went and I have downloaded this model and uh, figured we could uh, say hi to Jono, talk to him a little bit, and he can kind of give us a quick buzz tour of his model. So welcome, welcome let's to be, SketchUp Live. Let's be clear <laughs> that he wasn't picked for being, because he was first. Uh -uh. That's just coincidental. Right. I told, I told John, we were talking about this, we, we checked in on, on yesterday. I said, there's two perfect spots to be in a competition-y kind of thing like this. That's the first entrant or the last entrant. If you're the first one in the door, everything that comes in afterwards is at some level compared back to you. And if you're the last person to be looked at, then you're the freshest. So Jono just happened to be the first one and the entry that he put in, uh, we just found was just super unique and uh, we wanted to chat with him about it. So let's, let's do that. Cool. Um, um, yeah, so let's start with, let's, let's, let's talk about you real quick. So what, what do you do? Uh, I work in London. I'm based in London in the UK. I work, I have two jobs really that I sort of flip between. I'm a construction manager working in film and television and I also art direct. I work as an art director in film and television. That's awesome. Do you, do you use a lot of SketchUp in your job then? Um, I really do use SketchUp a lot. I, um, when I'm art directing, I do all, all of my drawing in uh, SketchUp and layout. Um, and when I'm working in, con in construction, we quite often break down drawings that we've been given, you know, redraw them in SketchUp, take measurements you know so uh, all the time every day actually um it's a, it's absolutely phenomenal it, it it's such an amazing workflow um, that's awesome i can't really i can't really imagine living without it actually it's, uh, Ooh, that's what i like to hear <laughs> no, it really, no it really is yeah i'm, I'm not just uh i'm not so just, do you uh, use it for your initial concepts or you use it for actual like construction documentation or planning I, or like well, well if i when I'm when I'm art directing, um, we will we may we may get concept uh, artwork from you know a concept artist and and then we, and then it's my job to basically turn that into construction drawings that can go to the construction team and then be turned into into sort of physical sets. Um, I I don't I, I I I do a little bit of kind of very crude concept work. There are some people who are a zillion times better than me um, but occasionally I will sort of start you know sort of start that process in SketchUp um, obviously you know I don't need to tell you guys that it's great for sort of you know blocking out volumes and shapes you know literally while you're just chatting about it it's um, it's it's amazing really fantastic that's great so so what what about this shape made you go I need to turn that sideways and slap it to a rock wall. Like, what, where was the inspiration or the thought where <laughs> that was what you decided to do? Um, I, th I think that I think the, the the idea for a, a cliff face house I think really did come from a from a trip uh, while I was working on a film. Very very luckily for me, working on a film in Mauritius, um, and I and we took a boat ride and went right past this incredible towering you know hundreds of feet high cliff with these kind of funny little openings in it I think natural openings in it and we just you know me and some of the film people just started riffing about how, about how incredible it would be to build a house there <laughs> um, and, 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 and I did I didn't really think again about that at all um, until the competition started and, and then I suddenly just sort of pictured that volume not flat on the ground but you know, stood, stood up on its end and uh, built into a wall. Um, I think more houses should be built into cliff faces. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a huge dearth of cliff based, based houses. It's time to go vertical. Yeah, I agree. I think it 
is, yeah. <laughs> I think you have a well, so... view and, uh, you know, easy access by air and by water. <laughs> <laughs> We have like a whole a Native American like cliff dwelling thing here in actually in Colorado. So, you know, it's not like it's new tech. We should just be re-embracing. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. They had fewer helicopter pads, if I recall correctly, though. <laughs> <laughs> they were all, there's also not much water. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just, yeah, I guess I just sort of flipped it on its side. And then suddenly that sort of uh, angled kind of jut out suddenly seemed like it was about the right angle for a staircase and yeah you know and, and there it and there it was and then and then you know when i do finally get to build my sort of villains retreat it will certainly have a helipad so it seems oh, of course nice. absolutely <laughs> i just I, I feel like the the helicopter is just too white i feel like it should definitely be dark gray or black to really fit with the you know the stealth boat down here you're right yeah we could have i could have I could check. <laughs> um, no, it's great. Maybe, maybe there's a helicopter pilot on the on the for you know on the uh, live stream now who could who could point out that actually landing a helicopter on a on a cliff face would be nominally dangerous. <laughs> yeah, certain times of day that you you can't leave during uh, the windy time of day. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really understand. I, I, I'm pretty sure helicopters are magic, but I think there is something about wind and surfaces nearby uh, that play into I think that so horrible horrible vortexes and downdrafts and stuff yeah. <laughs> I, I have to say that anytime i've seen travel like whenever you're looking at a job application and it says some work some travel involved it doesn't seem like you get a try get a travel to these obscure like ocean-based cliff dwellings on a regular basis it always feels like i'm going to be going to like some place in the middle america i'm just flying there and talking to people rather than getting to climb yes. on a cliff yeah yeah it, go to a maker fair rather than a james bond villain lair <laughs> yeah occupational hazard jody you're just in the wrong occupation apparently i'm going to start looking for evil villain or villain mastermind or i don't know exactly how to find that on i think linkedin uh, there's, there's a whole category on linkedin on, <laughs> okay. yeah, on the plus side right you'll probably never get shot at on a business trip while you work for trimble knock on wood <laughs> It's give and take, really, is what that's all about. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to say um, that I feel very privileged to, to have been picked. Uh, I think there are some absolutely blindingly excellent entries in the, on the forum. Uh, um, you know, and, and, uh, and I hope that this sort of irreverent take, you know, um, I hope it doesn't take, take anything away from people who obviously put huge amounts of work uh, of really amazing work into into their entries and uh, i think it's it's been really great to watch them come in absolutely and like i said i, I just wanted to to reiterate that the thing that that got us all i mean we had a group of us were were looking through the entries and trying to figure out who should we who should we talk to that sort of thing and the thing that really got us was um, that right at the beginning it was such a different take and something we never would have even thought of i mean our group was thinking about well you know uh, how would you, would you put a roof that came down over this part? Or, you know, we were thinking about it and the fact that like right off the bat, it got turned sideways. And that was kind of the thing that, yeah, really, really for us was like, this is, is something we got to look at some more. So, um, the first again, response was he's doing this wrong. And then you're like, Oh wait, no, maybe he's doing it wrong. <laughs> we're doing it wrong. <laughs> So, so yeah, that doesn't that, that doesn't say that that's the only judging criteria. Like I said, that just happened to be with this one. It just it just caught us the right way. Um, so yeah, I agree, John. We're we're gonna keep looking at these. We're we'll keep looking at entries. So um, that doesn't say you have to put yours into a cliffside to be the winner next week. It just says that 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 happened to be what we what caught us this time. So do your thing. Do your your version of this house and. Plenty of time to enter. We'll be like I said. We'll be looking at these uh, on a regular basis. So, um, yeah. So, John, thank you very much. Thanks for uh, thank you for entering, and thank you for, for coming by. Appreciate your time. A pleasure. That was, it's been very interesting. Great, great fun. Great. And, and well done for for putting out all these amazing videos three times a week. It's been you know, it, you know, having been sort of locked down, you know, for a while. It's a, it's a really nice rhythm just to to know that there's going to be some new content. Oh, great. Love to hear that. That's, that's what we're shooting for. <laughs> yeah.
Brilliant. Awesome. Right. All right. Well, thank you Excellent. very much. We will we will talk Excellent. again or see you on the forum. And, and, I, and I can't wait to see low poly person. I, I, I'm looking forward to this one too. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm interested can, to see what happens also. Maybe great. we can make an evil villain in your honor. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll re replace Sang with our low poly human. Cool. Yeah, please do. do that. Okay. Well, thank you All again. Right. And uh, no problem. Hope to talk soon. See, right. see you soon. Take care. Bye thank now. You. Bye. Bye bye. Awesome. That was that was really cool. So once again, just to reiterate, this is this is not the end, but the beginning of what we're doing here. So get your entry in. We will keep this thing running as long as people keep entering. So there's plenty of time. And if you have already entered and you're like, oh, I wish I had taken it this little bit further, totally within the realm of the rules, go ahead, go make your changes, one up it, submit a second one. It's really pretty open as far as how you want to do that. But uh, yeah, keep getting your entries up there and we will look at somebody else uh, in the next week or two. All right, so I'm gonna close that and we're gonna go back to, back to square one. All right, so I had a couple of thoughts on how we could do this. Uh, I went and I did get an image. I, had, I scoured the internet for the perfect image. So I will go ahead and import that. And I'm actually gonna import it as an image. It's not gonna be a watermark. Uh, this is what I got. <laughs> so this is what we'll work off of. Um, like I said, we're totally looking for just, just that human shape is all I want to get. I just want to get the, the human analog. Um, so this is really just to help me with proportions more than anything else. This isn't really going to, uh, I'm not going to follow this like any kind of, uh, you know, religious so documentation or anything. YouTube suggested maybe we could name this one Pollyanna. Seems, seems good. Sure. As long as uh, you're okay with a rather well-built bald Pollyanna, then we can do that. I've been called that before, so. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I was, one of the things I was thinking about trying to do, let me see if I can actually set this up. If I go to model info and we go to statistics, kind of wondering if I can, can I slide this halfway off? I can. Yes. And get that right above my head. Um, it's halfway on to me. And notice I just moved right past that. All right, so I want to keep an eye on faces right here. Uh, faces aren't the perfect uh, measurement because we can actually have a face that's multiple triangles, so bigger polys, uh, but it'll be at least give us an idea of how big we're going. Because I was thinking it might be fun to go through here and see, you know, get, to get a decent looking shape, what would it look like? And then to take that a little bit further, how low could we actually go and have something that looks like a human? But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll start. Uh, we'll start here and just start start building. And and uh, I don't know. I said we'll just see what happens. I do want to build him in halves. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start at one half and kind of work my way along. So I'm kind of thinking I'll start with his torso. Um, so I think I'll want to start with a shape kind of like this. Oh, yep, going to be interesting. All right, so I'm going to do that. And I got that initial shape just so I can come in here and I can make this into a component. And I'll call this half a human or halaf apparently because spelling's so very difficult. Actually, that's not spelling so much as typing. Typing's difficult. All right, I'm gonna take a copy of that, slide it over, and I'm going to use scale to invert it. Why use scale rather than using rotate to flip it over? Because I wanna keep the front front. If I had taken this and used rotate, which I do, I do do this a lot. If I had gone like this Dude. and rotated a copy <laughs> over like that, then my front and back would have been flipped. Oh. Beavis really enjoyed that I said doo-doo just now. 
Still laughing about it. I was hoping, I was looking over on Twitch to see if uh, Giant Monster Zero was on because he had made a great video of doing this with a 3D person like mm. 10 years ago. The oh, process is so not dissimilar to this. Question is, can I keep up with a 10-year-old process? I hear you. Uh, his was, he wasn't a 10-year-old at the time, I don't think. Uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, it was 3D, so. Okay. I'm going to go find that thing. That's pre it was pretty, it's dope. So here's my thinking again. Uh, I think I want to just start by blocking out in kind of 2D. So I want to, I want the waist to come down. I'm going to hit option to bring down a new one, option to bring down a new one, option to bring one down like that. And then I'm going to start maybe moving geometry just with select and move. I was actually thinking about how much of this am I going to be able to do with just uh, native tools versus uh, extensions. And I think I can do a whole lot with native tools. I think that uh, posing, I'll want to use an extension um, because I don't think I can get out of this what I want with, I don't think I can move it in a way with rotate without too, doing a little too much distortion, but we'll see, we'll see what I can do. Um, this is not dissimilar to polygon modeling right now, or I'm sorry, uh, subdivision modeling. It's actually pretty similar because as I make these changes, I am going to try to kind of keep the geometry together as much as possible, similar to how I would do, uh, do this if I was subdivision modeling. All right, let's start there. Let's, uh, let's go like this, but, I'm but posting, the plus I'm side. video I found on the forum oh. rather than in here. Okay. I don't want to steal your thunder. Thanks, thanks a lot. And unfortunately, I have a feeling a lot of this is going to be kind of like this. I'm going to draw. I, don't, I actually don't need this middle line anymore. I'm going to draw some, draw some shapes, move shapes around. And what I'm trying to do as much as possible is actually, let's, let's do this. Let's go connect this like this and then raise that up. I'm going to let auto folding do its thing in some cases. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is use move to move points. So if you click on move and you start moving, you just don't pre-select at all. You can actually hover over a point, click and start moving that too. All right. It's looking okay so far. Um, I do have to all right, let's slide this back a little bit. So I can still use it for reference, but I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna have to get some. I'm gonna have to get some back on this thing. Ooh, what's going on down here? That's uncomfortable. Hey, looks kind of like pliers or something pinchy. <laughs> that's not. That's not a good way to have that part of your body described. <laughs> no. You're kind of a kind of pinchy back there, aren't you? All right, so I'm gonna <laughs> just slide this out of the way real quick, and uh, let's get some Sorry. let's get some profile. Um, Today's feeling a little more Friday like than your standard Friday for me for some reason. I I got that too. I I know what you're saying. So I think we can probably we can probably roll with that. We can probably just move this up so it's in line over here. Um, I think what I'm going to do, divide this across here too, is I'm actually going to option pull out my back. That's going to give me another, another break here so I can create some geometry 
both directions. So that means I can do stuff like I can take this line and I can push this in to kind of create the, the, that piece of back and bring the shoulder. Whoa, hey now, easy, easy, easy. It's getting exciting in here. Ouch, talk about throwing your back out. Yeah, I was gonna make a bat throw your back out comment and then I was just like, I, I, gotta, I gotta stop being funny for a little while so you can actually talk about not funny stuff. Oh. It's not the Jody show. <laughs> just it's Aaron show. Your your boring modeling stuff, whatever. <laughs> what, what were we doing here again? <laughs> Why are we here? All right. And the other thing what is do it then... you say you do here. <laughs> oh, man. I know I keep saying this, but I got to go watch that show. Bring that. Yeah. Tape it's, that it's in a little repeat. bit. Yeah. All right, so he's still, still a little blocky. I get it, I know, I know. Um, but we'll, we'll keep working on it. Uh, all right, maybe we'll go ahead and, and bulk out this neck, neck back. I don't think that's a thing. Um, you know, I've never actually, this thing I'm doing right now, I've never, I've actually done. I'm very, very interested to see what happens. All right, there we go. That's an okay, okay back shape. Probably want a little less, a little less pointy here. So I'm letting autofold do its thing a lot. Like, like, uh, a lot of, uh, snapping using arrows to constrain movement to one direction at a time and then uh, auto folding inside that all right all right so I'm getting to the point where I gotta I gotta start putting some limbs on or something I'm gonna I got a weird this is not good I'm gonna whoops that was that was too much racing change that all right so i got some weird shapes but i need to uh start welding this together with other body parts because I, I do want this to be one mass i'm not going to uh, have this as separate pieces that would interact there's not there's no uh reason to keep pieces separate or anything like that i think i could take this and actually pull that all the way back like that and lose a polygon I'm gonna do it here too. Whoops. Throat punch. Oh, sound effects. That's what I need to do. If I'm gonna That's be right. a wingman, I need like a like a radio station, like you need you need a soundboard. And all that stuff. Yeah. Oh I gotta I gotta get on that. To do next week. Next week. By next week. Jody will have super sweet sound effects. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Anyhow. Okay. So we created a trunk type shape. Uh, I may go back here and clean up some of these broken polygons, but, or it may not. We'll see. I don't really know what's going to happen. Um, so I need to pull out an arm. So what I was thinking of doing I said I wasn't going to use a whole lot of extensions, but I think there is one, uh, and that is Vertex Tools. So Vertex Tools is an extension that allows you to use movement tools to move points. It's actually a great way to do this kind of modeling, but I said I'm going to try to stick with uh, native tools as much as possible. The one thing, though, in Vertex Tools that I think I might want to take advantage of is the ability to make planar. So I could grab these two surfaces, hit vertex tools, and then there's a make planar button, which makes this into a single plane. The reason that's important is that's gonna allow me to pull my single surface out of that rectangle out into shape like that, um, which I think is gonna be important. It's an important way to start this, this arm. Uh, all right, so what I'm gonna do is Pull that up. Uh, 
Gamborg encouraged you to look down and read your shirt. Evas. Evas. Italian. Nice. I assume it's Italian based on the hand gestures. <laughs> I don't really know what that was. Sometimes <laughs> things just happen. Okay, let's let's uh Low Pollyanna. Is that how you spell Pollyanna? Uh, that's just Pollyanna, isn't it? All right. I can't see it. It's there. really tiny. Is it an I or Y? Polly? Pollyanna? Okay. I think it should be Y in this case. It is. It has become Y. Is that a Y? Is that a chromosome joke you just made? <laughs> My, yeah, uh, oh. Did you even try? Did you just make a, 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 a joke without I even think... trying? I think maybe you just interpreted. I think you might have. That might have been you. This might become your thing now. Okay. You're now the pun guy. Oh, dang it! All right. There we go. I'll be honest. I thought we were making two D components. I did not. Uh, didn't realize this is where you're going. I didn't sign up for this. Oh. All right. Well, I guess I'll talk to you later then. <laughs> Bye. Dis disconnect, Jody. <laughs> Apparently, D Hammer asked for a. I missed. I missed what his actual recommended count was, but he was shooting for something a bit lower poly than this. I thought if I could stay under a thousand, I'd be pretty happy. All right, all right. Th that was my thought. I, I don't know why I thought that, but I thought that. Well, you definitely are not going to be making fingers. New. No. This guy's going to be wearing mittens. <laughs> or at the very least, he could have a fewer, fewer digits. That's true. So the link that I shared from uh, Giant Monster Zero or Monster Zero or now, what is, I forgot what he's called now. Dang it. Um, his, I think, maybe. He's grown up and he's Mr. He, Zero now. He was doing it all with, it wasn't low poly, but it was all, uh, he was doing it with like cylinders and round stuff because, you know, bodies are roundish. They are. And that's absolutely one of the first things I was thinking about doing was like how many, si how many sh sides would I use on something like this? And I think yeah. really my initial thought was to try to use eight-sided shapes. But then I just started drawing. And uh, now I've got four. So that's kind of how that all happened. Oh, um, D hammer just wanted one poly. I don't even know what one poly is. Is that zero space, right? That's like not even one. That D. would be this. Maybe it's one D. Mm, that's it's a poly. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Hey, did anybody watch the, uh, Epic games revealed their new unreal engine five this week. Speaking of polys and they showed some, showed some shots of what all the polys look like in one of the scenes and it basically just looked like static because the polygons were so small it's yeah that's crazy. uh that's fairly insane i can say we're not going to get there with that today i think it would be up. unlikely <laughs> i don't want to cast aspersions on my own abilities but heck no wasn't so that was a Harry Potter spell, right? Heck no. No aspersions. I saw somebody cast aspersions once. I don't remember. I don't remember which movie it was in. And he's back in the game. Oh, there we go. Nice. Feel a little uncomfortable with that mantle that you, you placed on me. <laughs> All right. So I did intentionally go in. I'm trying to make, uh, like I said, I want to do as much of this with, with, uh, I'm I'm wondering if I can do joints and and do some rotation and posing with native tools. I don't know for sure, but uh, intentionally leaving zones that would be edited. So I'm thinking, let me save because I might screw everything up right now. If I was to grab this chunk of arm and come to the pit, I think I could go like this. It's not Ooh. perfect. But it does get me, actually, if I, if I did one more selection, if I also selected these two pieces, I think I could come in here. Ah, so it would have to be somewhere in between there. 
I, like I said, I, I might I might end up using Fredo scale to pose it anyhow, because use the box uh, box rotation, but it looks like I can kind of do that. Uh, but I was wondering the elbow too, because I think if I grabbed all of this this much, and then from the middle here I could go like this, kinda. Actually, I should be rotating from right here. No, I think I'm gonna have to use that extension. It's not gonna is happen. Anyone else, is anybody else getting the urge to sing YMCA now? We could probably make that happen. <laughs> Everybody else wants you to make him fly. I just want it. I just want him to dance. Well, dancing's easier because I can just go like this. Yeah. Let me White know guy dance. Let me know when you're done. Sorry. That, that, that. Okay. You know, anyhow, you know what it's called? I'm gonna come back in here. Do a little bit of give a little wrist. Okay. Way to carry on. Just, just go, just go. Uh, and I'll figure out which way his hand is gonna sit. I should say I don't know if I don't know if he's I don't know if you've seen uh, Rodrigo come by yet today. Uh, but Rodrigo was an instructor at our last base camp, and he has real like low poly characters. So I mean, he has like. Uh, they look like cartoon characters by design, um, and he poses them for his artwork, which is super cool. So uh, that was a, that was a cool video. Here, let me, worth checking out. Let me just dig up that video. I think there is a. I've been using so, like I said, I'm using vertex tools to align faces. But isn't is there a make planer extension as well? I feel like that's that's a true thing. I just said. Uh, I'm going to pull out this hand. This hand is, like I said, it's going to be low polygon again. Oh, my problem is I'm not on axes. That's why I keep splitting. I'm going to get this hand turned so it's on axes. It's just off. So this face, every time I, I move anything, even if I try to stay in plane, it breaks it like this. So if I try to, okay, so it's in axes this way. Let's see if I can, there we go. Now if I can, just for the time being, just while I make the hand, get that in axes and I can pull this out. That'll be the thumb. That'll be part of his hand and then we'll go out one more. So that's how I'll make his hand. And then I will be tapering. So I'll grab a chunk of hand, scale, bring it in a little bit. Next chunk of hand, scale, bring it in some more. So we got it from the front. Let's get this mitt tightened up. I don't the know internet is not suggesting that there is a make planer. I'm not finding it. Okay. Nobody, nobody in the comments has heard of it, so you might just right. be making stuff up. I could be just full of stuff. Something. Just, just a big fat liar. Yeah. Mostly water. <laughs> black stuff. <laughs> yeah. Guts, black stuff. All right, let's pull that in. Yeah, so afterwards, Sid's wondering if you can, if you could just use Sandbox to smooth this sucker up to something nice and sort of human looking. If you want to have more polys, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Fell off the skateboard, then this happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know that I would use, so Sandbox Tools is awesome for what it does, but Sandbox Tools does require from the smart, from the start, a fairly ordered grid, which, much as I'm trying here, oh, look at his little baby hand. That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, so weird. Let's try. Let's 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 bulk that up a little bit, okay, fella. 
All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what sandbox tools would do to this, to be honest. Um, I don't know what smooth smooth specifically does require an ordered grid to get uh, good results. But we could try it. I'll just. I'm all for I'll trying my, things. My, I'll throw my parenting comment and say, when this is done, grab the file and experiment with it. That's and right. That way, anybody can do anything they want. Also true. <laughs> D. Hammer said that was a, a Deadpool hand. That was. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. That's as far as I'm going to go with that. That's right. That comment, though. And then we go back to PG. All right. All right. So this is this is an okay. PG mitt. stands for polygon, right? That's right. Let's get back to PG modeling. Well, oh, oh, PG modeling. Something's still twisted, though. What is this? This, this got to come this way. Oh, didn't get it. There we go. I'm running out of desk again. I need one of those desk extension tools. All right. That looks acceptable. This this should be smaller. So Bilal's asking why you're not using components, or I mean not components, uh, extensions. But I would even go one step further and say, what com what extensions might make this easier? Uh, I think vertex tools would probably make it easier. Um, and maybe maybe I'll. But I mean, this is I mean, this, I'm not dying here this isn't this isn't super painful to do maybe maybe it's painful to watch i've i've been told that before um so this is it's not too bad right now just doing this the way i'm doing it um so i don't feel compelled to pull much in additional but uh, you could definitely do some of this in vertex tools all right, so right now, let's save. I've got a decent chunk of upper body. Uh, I, I think one thing- I've had that said about me as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite, quite a mass you got going on right there. <laughs> <laughs> you should eat less. Your upper body is too chunky. Um, So sorry, this is, you. yeah, I don't know where I was going. I need to write tips down. As soon as I start giggling, I should just write down what I'm working on. <laughs> let me let me rewind rewind the tape real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'm wondering right now. So right now I'm at 288 faces. So under 300. But one thing I want to keep in mind is that I haven't been, I've been using modifier key push pull to create each separate chunk. So this is actually full of internal faces. You can see all that internal structure right there. I don't need any of that. So one thing I might be able to do is actually just run, uh, excuse me, solid inspector, fix it to get rid of those internal faces. And look at that, I dropped 38 faces. 38 faces is not a huge amount, but for what we're doing, it's a, a considerable amount, you know, considering we want to try to keep this as light as possible. We're that much farther away from 1,000. That's right. Step in the back. Um, I'm going to leave the head for last because the amount of detail I put in the head is going to be dependent upon how much geometry I have left in that 1,000. Uh, so I'm going to come down here to legs. I did not put uh, much of a backside on here yet because I want to get the leg pulled out first. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take these three pieces here and I'm going to align them real quick. That's going to let me do this and then modifier maybe also, key. Maybe you're also, pull. you're also going to save. Huh? Of course. <sighs> See? So much, so much Train work. Somebody, what's up? Having to save all the time. Uh, oops, apparently I need that one. That was awkward, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna take the inside of that leg and come in like this. I'm gonna take the 
outside Pinchigan. pieces. Yep, we're back to a little, little plier crotch. All right, we'll pull that down. There we go. And I think it might be able to start by moving that backwards. A little junk in the trunk. A little junk up front too. Let's bring this back out here. I'm sorry, that, that worked out way not the way I wanted to say that. <laughs> I said what I meant to say, but it did not sound the way I meant to say it. Oh, I'm not trying to make a bulge. Stop. I'm just trying to... <laughs> there we go. Green. Stand the green. Stand the green. There we go. All right. All right. And then let's... Uh, all right. We got to gotta lose this. I'm trying to keep it here, but I, I don't want it in my face. So... Just sliding it off rather than putting it on my reference layer like I normally do. Uh, I'm just kind of sliding out of the way. I do have to make sure I click to go into the component each time. Let's go ahead and join those two up. That works. That's all right. Drawing for the benefit of people watching you definitely changes the workflow. Yeah, there's definitely, I model a little different than I would if I was all alone. That's probably true. All right, bring these in. This is working, this is, eee, right. okay, got a thing. We got a thing we gotta take care of. My legs, my legs. Well, some little, feel, feels a little hippie. Hey, don't skip leg day. All right. And we are going to go for get a little bit of a, a little bit of glute definition. That's all I'm saying. I'm just going to get this out here a little. <laughs> <laughs> Gluteus Maximus there. <laughs> Why, what is it that makes this so much more amusing than mod modeling a house? I don't know because it's probably something to do with a lack of maturity. I'm just guessing. <laughs> uh, just, you're just a big 10 year old. That's right. All right. Ugh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I need more. I need more geometry back here to make this less weird more maximus That's not right. minimus whoop, whoop. whoa maybe if you just animate some squats there we go natural it's natural uh creation of that second work oh all right this, this is where uh, Monster Zero's idea of using uh, less squarey shapes would probably benefit things. Yeah, I have to go watch the video to just see how, how actually, much tension he puts into the booty. Here's what I need to do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna chop his legs off. Ah! Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this. That was dramatic. It was. I'm going to move each of these segments vertically to that spot by moving them all to the same spot. That assures that when I draw this line right here, it not only closes up here, but it gives me a flat plane on the bottom to work with. And that's going to let me just wrap this booty up. Because now I have geometry that is separate from my lower leg. Bring this back in. Yeah. I got a little bit of a butt there. More, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of the, all of this. All right, so I'm gonna make my segments and give me my knee segment, my calf. Actually, calf is gonna have a little more definition to come out and then come back in. 
So I'm going to put in calf down to there. And then let's bring our, bring our reference image back in. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good guesses right there. All right, so I'm going to grab my knee section, drop that down to the knee section. My calf, just bring it down just, just a touch. And then the top of my ankle, it come down like that. And I'm going to take that right now. Let's scale that. I'm going to scale it about the middle. This is super easy because uh, I can just grab each of these sections, scale, oops, and then and grab a corner and scale about the middle. Uh, that'll keep it where it is. And here we go. Something, something got moved weird on that. How do I do that? Undo. Huh. I don't know how I made that happen. Oh, when I was moving. Okay. There you go. It's like my kids play Roblox. This looks like a Roblox character. Yeah, done. Roblox are known for being low poly. <laughs> they are indeed. Uh, all right, so I'm going to just try it again. As I was saying, I can simply hit scale, scale about the middle with option, narrow that to the ankle, grab the next chunk, only want those four lines. What else did I get? How did I get five? Yeah, let's try it. Scale that about the middle, and then the Bottom of the knee is going to go in a little further. Top of the knee. All right. We might could uh, a little more, a little more heft to these leggies here. Doing a lot of moving on axes too, wherever possible. Let's bring that back like that, and we can actually and we'll bring that out just a little bit more, even. Bring this back part up, bring this back part down. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah. Not, not excited about dealing with the feet. I don't like, don't like drawing feet. I don't like, I don't like looking at feet. Feet are weird, feet are weird things. So it, it would probably be safe to say that it will be a feat if you manage to uh... Do this acceptably. Fine, I'll go do it. I'll go do it. Stop. <laughs> All right. And do a little ankle. And then here's going to be my heel. And then I'll pull this out like that. I mean, you could always do this, like, say that this, this guy got on the wrong side of the mob. And <laughs> so he's wearing concrete shoes. Broken ankles. Oh, yeah. That, that would do it. I'm going to pull the bottoms out, make them a little bit wider. Right, we'll grab the front here, scoot that forward a little bit. Scoot that this way. Grab this chunk right here, move that upwards. And grab this toe right here. Drop that down. That looks fairly good. Pull this back just a touch. A little bit more. 
ankle shaped. Looks all right. Um, don't like so that. This is, this is always kind of eaten to me. Polygons are triangles. We know that, right? Correct. But SketchUp faces are not all triangles. Sometimes a face has to become many triangles. Yes. So this 414 faces is not truly representative of polygons. Also correct. So are we okay with that? Yeah, we're, we're shooting for ballpark anyhow. Um, but yes, that's, that's very true. That is something that if you're, uh, if you're a polygon counter or a poly counter, as, as we call them in the business, um, yep. you do want to be conscious of that because you're not, you're not dealing with straight, uh, polygons. SketchUp faces can be multiple polygons. Um, one thing I can do to get rid of that, uh, in this case, this model, if I go to soften and smooth and I crank it all the way down, that's going to take any like smoothed pieces and break them. So that's going to, that's going to help a little bit. Uh, the other thing I can do is I don't, it doesn't look like if I turn on hidden, I don't think I have any hidden lines, but any hidden geometry I'd want to unhide as well. Uh, and that's just going to help me see where the polygons are. Um, as far as, uh, just real quick, uh, Hugo's asking how to mirror this. What I did was I created this piece right here, which is just half the body. And then I copied it over and reversed it with scale. So I'm actually only modeling half of the body. Speaking of spots that I can save some geometry, if I come through this trunk and get rid of that geometry, that helps. And I could run Solid Inspector again and clear out my extras. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I'd say we're, we're doing pretty good. So it's not, not a bad looking yeah. low poly body. Back down to 370 faces. Andy's saying that a polygon, I mean, by definition, is just, it's not necessarily a triangle. It just means multiple. So I, I don't true, even true. know what to think anymore. That's true. A, a polygon, by definition, is just a shape. A 2D shape. Multiple gons. Multiple sides, yes. Uh, when we talk about counting polygons for 3D modeling, they were saying most of the time, I don't know. I don't know if there's a definite uh, like exact way this term has to be used, but uh, polygons, I've seen referencing how many triangles are in a model uh, or how many actual closed shapes are in a model. So in this, in this case, we're talking about, I think mostly we're looking at triangles, which is kind of a standard for uh, lots of software. How many, how many, the, the, the weight of a model is often calculated by how many polygons or triangles are in that model. And right, if we took this to a different modeling package, would it turn all of these faces into triangles? Hmm. Yes. So what we could do, if we wanted to make sure this was, was totally decimated down, or just totally turned into triangles, what I would do is I would take it and I would uh, save it as an STL file. STL file is always triangular. So by making an STL file, I would assure that it is uh, the smallest possible geometry. All right, so um, yeah, Colin's pointing out you could also do an export of a different file format with triangulate all faces on. That would work too. Um, so what I don't really have here is a profile of a head. Um, let's see if that's, that's a little bit bigger. That looks like it, that's about the right shape. What I'm thinking about here, let me explain 
what's what's happening. Um, I think what I'll do is start with kind of a 2D profile of a face. So now I'll come here and we'll go like this, get a jaw, come back here, come out to a nose. I'm gonna have to May, this may I may be creating a terrifying mutant. That is totally possible. Definitely looks uh, like a heck of a jaw. I would not want to anger this fellow. No, he's he's got issues. He's done. He's done. He's seen some things. Um, all right. Well, this is gonna. This is a start. I I mean, when when modeling something like this, I'd rather start with bold geometry that I can pull back rather than have something that's too tiny and try to pull it out. You know what I mean? Because I can, if I'm, if I'm like this, I can grab a piece and shrink it down inside. It's real hard to take it when it's small and go beyond, like take a nose and make it bigger than where the face is and take a big nose and make it a little bit smaller on the face, a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a little bold on here. Um, I don't think that head's too far off. I am gonna... It, we, when you first started drawing lines, I was skeptical, but that actually looks like a, a decent head profile, it I would not, say. Not terrible. It's, it's a lot of chin, but you know, yeah, well, he's, who am I to judge? He said he's a, he's, he's a healthy guy. I don't know. All right. As long as you, yeah, as long as while you're having that second, the, the flipped component turned off, I just keep having a, a Nirvana song popping up into my head repeatedly. Which song is that? Uh, just the, specifically the line, half the man I used to be. That, is no, wait, 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 wait a minute. Isn't that Alice in Chains? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Al Alice in Chains. Okay. Yes. It's from Dad Gummit. Who's going to beat me to it? No, it is Nirvana. And it literally, the song is, is the song really called Half the Man I Used to Be? No, it, it, it is. Really? I don't know, man. There's also Stone Temple <laughs> Pilots creep. Oh, it is Stone Temple yeah, Pilots. Yeah, I'm creep. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stone Temple Pilots, half the man used to be. Yep. Oh, man. Just lost my wow. 90s card. Yeah, I feel, I feel a little stupid right about now. All right. So now I'm just... Pulling in geometry. You know, I don't, I actually want to keep this kind of out here. So so by putting a line there, when I pull this back, I keep that geometry out here. So we've got a, apparently we've got a pretty like the the group here is a big fan of, of red dwarf it's come up several times but apparently there's a character from red dwarf called Crichton, which has pretty much a low poly head yeah he's a, a robot right is he a robot cyborg I, i'm gonna guess i'm gonna robot. say i'm gonna say yes kind of looks like he a, is a mechanoid based look, he's a seriously mechanoid according to the internet looks like a low poly dan Aykroyd. Is that the right guy? Okay. Maybe. I mean, I know who Dan Aykroyd is. I don't. I always thought that uh, if it's the guy that I'm thinking of, uh, I always felt like he kind of looked like he could be Dan Aykroyd underneath his. Oh, I guess depending on the picture, I can kind of see it sometimes. Or Max Headroom. Uh, remember that? Remember when Max had a TV show? <laughs> I do. It's funny, I was just talking to uh, Steve at work about this recently. I guess he was watching a documentary on, I guess, all the hubbub that went, went along with Max Headroom back in the day. Uh, that, was, that was fun. All right, all right, all right, all right. Something's happening. I will it's say a, it's a decent effort. I don't know if that's the nose I would have picked. Oh, really? 
Is there a, a specific nose you were, were hoping for? No, I'm sorry. I'm just playing with pick your nose. I mean, oh, nice. Boom. Nailed it and I missed it. Dang. Mm. Mm. Nose picking humor is always a, it's always a win. I'm trying to work booger into a joke, but nothing's coming to mind. <laughs> Dang it. Ugh. All right, let's grab this here. Bring it. Nope, that's not going to work. All right, so we're going to have to go add some more poly. Break it, break it. So this will have to come in more, but I'm going to have to come in here. And this is, so if I was you know, doing a more organized model. This is where I would be subdividing my mesh, adding loops of geometry as I go through here. Uh, but we're just kind of barreling through with native tools to make the shapes we're looking for. Round out that head. I was thinking, since we're talking about BBC sci-fi, or, or we were at some point, there was... We are again, apparently. I can't remember the... Yikes! Okay, that's a little too wide. A little too... <laughs> Talk about a thug. Whoa, fat face, flat-faced thug, man. All right, let's 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 do something about that. Let's, let's not hide the other half. That's what I need to do. Um, there was, I was thinking when we sliced it in half, there was, I can't remember the name of it, but there was a BBC sci-fi and there was a character who was totally like goth before goth kind of guy. I think he was dead or something like that, the character was. But they, he got mm. taken by... It was one of those sitcom, or, or not sitcoms, but uh, sci-fi. There's a, a group of people. They're on, I think, an alien sh spacecraft or something like that. How so long this, ago was this? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe 80s I mean, is or it, something. Is... Okay. Uh, so but I was thinking the Kai... thing is... Lex. Yeah, Lex. That was it. There's a scene where he or got... Lex he got cut in half, basically. This machine took a slice out of the middle of him like Ugh. paper thin and and hung it up and i was just thinking about that when when i had that view of looking at him from the side i don't know that was a weird one so so lex the show i don't know if it's the same one was i don't think it was bbc though it was oh i don't know i i do definitely looks goth as i'm looking at him here but it's from 97 that's i think oh. you're just old i am dang everything that's that happened before this down. year happened in the 80s i think well, yeah, I mean, the 90s were the 80s in my brain. Every time I'm like, oh, yeah, it was just 10 years ago, and then realized that 10 years ago was technically... <laughs> was not that long ago. Oh, yeah, very that's, weird. That's upsetting. Uh, yeah, I never watched uh, Lex, so I don't, I'm not sure if this is the same guy. I don't, thank you. I don't know what you mean by the slice out of the middle. It was, it was uh, something... Just got my coffee delivery. Yeah, Kai, Lex... Dude's got, uh, he had kind of some bangs hanging off to one side, a big old pompadour looking at hair That's on top it. of his head. Yeah. He was. All right. Yeah. So I, th I think he's supposed <laughs> I, to be dead or something. I think that was his, that was his deal. He was. I, I, I have a feeling Kai will be able to straighten this out. He said it's a Canadian slash German show, which Canadian, I don't think I've ever that's heard. That's right. Canadian slash German. <laughs> that's right. It that's is. Not, that's not a pairing. It was not a thing that happened a lot. But one time in the '90s, stuff got a little weird. A couple of sci-fi, late '90s sci-fi was was definitely there was something going on there. Well, that was before, something. like just before the sci-fi, or maybe right around the time the Sci-Fi Channel started up. Yeah, yeah. That's when, uh, yeah, things. I don't know. This head's getting weirder and weirder the more I poke at it. Pick at it; it'll never heal. I have some some uh, some basic issues with what I'm creating. Oh, I'm basic, all right. Psh, psh. Don't get me started. 
I know. Jody knows. All right. All right. I, I, I think we're getting, we're getting close to a thing, though. A thing that is an acceptable thing. Okay, so Kai was killed in the first show and then brought back as an undead assassin. There you go. That sounds right. This is not this is not my information. I, I like that Kai is an actual expert on Kai. In the comments Ooh, here. Do we pick up? Is, is that a thing? Is it was that a thing before this, or is that just a happenstance, as uh, they say? It's 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 spelled different. So, mm. but we'll wait. I'm sure he'll have. I, he can he can eliminate that one. All right, it's getting better. Uh, this is this is getting. It's looking less infected than it was before. See, I just, I still don't think I have enough polygons to make a nice round looking head. But having said that, I feel that as far as low poly heads go, he's got a mighty, mighty brow. Let's bring this back in. Let's tame this a little bit. But I do want to keep enough of a brow there to emulate the fact that, uh, cause I'm there's not eye sockets beneath it. Yeah. There's eye sockets down here. I don't want to have to go in and put eyes in, but anyhow, I just remember the part where I didn't watch the whole series. I think I maybe saw three or four episodes, but I remember this, it was just a bizarre idea that some like collector type character would take, species and cut chunks out of them and because he was undead he survived the process uh, okay there you go there you go so, uh d hammer is suggest would like to see a little more work on the back or the back of the head yeah because i'm trying to i don't know maybe he just lays down a lot a you know blocky. sometimes that happens a little blocky and yeah uh, kai did take the name kai from that show Really? So if there's going to be a definitive uh, expert on this, I would say it's probably him. You have become our, uh, our Kai expert. Our go-to <laughs> go Lexpert, you might call him. Ooh. Or he could be our Kai oh. guy. Yeah, that too. That'll work too. Yeah. Yep. I think it's a win-win. Both of those are solid. Why not both? Real question is, did you ever expect for that to happen? <laughs> Having taken your name from a semi-obscure Canadian-German collaboration TV show, <laughs> did you ever expect to have that have that called out on a live stream? This is what we bring to you. All right, this a, is offending me. A SketchUp live stream, nonetheless. If we were That's watching, right. if we were like, you know, old school sci-fi, maybe. Yeah. All right. This is this is his moment. The shines. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Kai. All right. <laughs> Let me grab this. Let's bulk out the back of this head a little bit. I don't want to throw shade on people with flat spots in the back of their head. You know, it's fine. That's cool. Nobody's, we've all got our things. We're all different. All right. I'm going to, to properly round this out. I'm going to add some geometry right here. Because if I don't, there's not a whole lot I can do. By doing that, I can grab this piece right here and slide it up a little. Look at you getting a chance to do some stitching. Give me a little. It was light stitching, but I'll I'll uh, I'll take what I can get. Do some do some light stitching. <laughs> Wait, so Kai has said next week we can model the Lex. And so now, since I didn't ever watch that show, is the Lex the name of the ship that they were flying around in? I think so. Isn't it like an alien bug or something? I I don't remember. <laughs> well, his follow-up comment was he's waiting for the, oh, hell no. So apparently that is not a thing. I'm going to guess that's not a thing that any of us wants to model. Okay. Sounds good. I trust you. I mean, you being the Lexpert and all. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, it kind of looks like a mosquito head. Yeah, yeah, I kind of remember that. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll go with, uh, oh hell yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Heard um, no, as they would say on Letterkenny. You know, this is kind of- Insectoid spaceship that destroys planets. 
Sweet. Mm. One of those things you just one has lying around. All right. So I'm halfway. I am halfway to a thousand. I have made a 500 poly humanish thing. Now, is it only considerate 500 because you did it, you cut it in half? Like if, if this was not two halves of a component, would it be a thousand? I Let's find out. So since this is saved as a component, I can look over here in my in model components and there's my half a Kai um, right next to Laura. So that means I can do whatever I want with this geometry and I can always bring this back in later. So if I wanted to, if I mess everything up, if everything goes horrible right now, uh, I can always back up. I say that because what I'm going to do is take these two, group them together, and come in here and explode. So having done that, I will run Solid Inspector one more time, which will get rid of my internal faces where the two halves met. And I can even do this. So just to verify. So it's telling me I have 592 faces right now. If I was to come in here, select it all. It tells me there's 1,259, but that's including edges. If I right click and I go to select only, select only is part of selection toys from TomTom. Tom. Uh, it is an extension. It's a free extension. And it's one of those things where it's like, man, it's just, it's so basic. It's one of those things to just get installed right away. Don't, don't use SketchUp without it. Uh, but that's going to allow me to say select only faces. When I select only faces, it does confirm I have 429. Let's see what happens if I grab oh. all of this and just for Barry, fun. Barry wants you to name it. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking you name it Kai. I mean, you Kai, were already well, yeah, trying to point. call it Kai to begin with. Low poly Kai. Poly Kai. That sounds like uh, <laughs> all political That's science, Johnny, I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was. I thought we were. I thought we were talking about the karate group that Johnny was part of. <laughs> Cobra Kai. Oh, I have a Cobra <laughs> yeah. Kai shirt. We'll have another day. Dang it! Next week we'll model. We'll model the Karate Kid. I lost that opportunity, which is the opposite of saving. All right. Well, you know, I mean, as far as three D lumps of geometry go, it's one of the best I've seen today. You could tell this is a human. I'm just gonna say that. That's all. Um, I want to I want to test this. Let me get rid of my image. I want to test my polygon count. So right now we're saying this is 429. If I come in here, double click, this is just dots everything. So 429, 492. Excuse me. If I take this and I export 3D model, don't worry, we got more stuff to do. I know you guys were all worried. I'm gonna export it. I had to change it now. I had to change the name. He's, he's still called Pollyanna. So low poly Kai. I'm going to export it as an STL file. Um, I don't have to worry about exporting STL and triangulating because STLs are triangulated. There's not a it, there's not a way to not have everything triangulated. So I don't have to. If I was exporting an OBJ, I think I would have the option to export as triangles. In this case. I can just say, just export it, export, and then I'm going to go file import. I don't need you anymore. Uh, STL. Okay, and there we go, which obviously I swapped meters for millimeters or something like that, <laughs> not quite the same scale. Um, this might be actually more realistically sized though. How tall is the STL is 11 inches? Okay, because I think this Kai is like, yeah, he's 24 feet tall. All right, but that's not what I missed it. I did all that to do this. So the, the select only extension is, did you say it's part of the solids tool or? Yes, it's, or no, it's, it's, pa okay. it's part of select to selection toys. Selection toys. Is that a TomTom -tom one though too? It is. Okay. All right, so 
that gets me 550 faces. So there's about 60 extra faces here that aren't here. Okay, we gotta, guys, we gotta do something about this. Let's, let's, let's meet in the middle here. Okay. Let me grab this, unsoften him all the way down. So some of the spots are, and I, I saw this as we were modeling, like his, the fronts of his thighs, which are totally flat, the fronts of his uh, shins. I have a couple spots that aren't triangulated. Those obviously got triangulated, but I think that might be about it. Adding 60 faces is not a ton. Uh, so yeah, we're 500 or so polygons. Now here's the question. Now what we want to do is we want to take Kai and put him in a pose. And that's really the question is what kind of pose do we want? Oh, T-pose. Let's do the T-pose. Nailed it. Thank you very much. Good night. That was about an hour of modeling, by the way. I was watching the timer. So not yeah, that's bad. Pretty, that's pretty impressive, actually. Um. So I am curious, I don't know if it'll work, but let's, this is just a group right now. Let's see what happens if we try to subdivide it. You guys throw out, throw out some, uh, some, what you think would be a good pose for this thing. Uh, and let's try to subdivide it. Save. You could have him picking his nose. We're already there, right? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Andy said the butterfly pose from, it's the crane, isn't it? From uh, Karate Kid. The crane pose? So this is yeah. one level Pop of subdivision. That's not, that's not terrible. I'm not, I'm not disappointed in that oh. doughy oddness. Andy said dabbing. Uh, I, feel like, I feel like there's a lot of hate for dabbing out there. So I would, you got to be careful with that one. You know why? Because every child from like six to 12 does it when you try to take a picture of them now. It's like bunny ears. True. All right. I know I, I like your 13 year old is saying that it's not even cool anymore. Oh, I know. I was saying before, what, what I'm getting from my kids, I, I want to see if any of you guys are getting this too. This is, this is a job perk. I had the opportunity to pull hundreds of people of stuff when I'm like, is that normal? Let me ask. A couple hundred people about this. I, I my, my two kids are, are 14 and 16 and they say, and this isn't like something they say as a joke, like they, they, I heard them talking to each other. They use the term back in the day. Hey, remember back in the day when this happened? And I'm like, you've only been around for a day. That's not like, <laughs> it's not really fair. What, what are you referring back to? <laughs> Anybody else so got that? My your kids do that? So my 15-year-old my fifteen year old daughter will tell me she identifies as a middle-aged man, a middle-aged single father. So I think that the reality is just that 13 to 15-year-old or 16-year-old kids are just weird. Yeah, I buy that. My daughter's a big fan of puns, so. I like your daughter already. Yeah, I know. I'm like, well, we got to have Jody over sometime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my kids do. I, I love it. Like when we're sitting at dinner and then they'll drop some and, you know, I just sit back, big grin on my face. <laughs> I've taught you well. <laughs> I, my job here is done. That's Unfortunately, we, I've ruined them. Jody's, Jody's inner emperor comes out. Yeah. Okay. So I've there's a lot of poses more here. powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking... Because it ties together, I think Karate Kid. I think we're gonna have to do the. Okay. Go with the the, right. the crane. Plus, it's Wait, difficult, it and I don't know how it's gonna work. What? I forgot how we arrived at Karate Kid now. What uh, because, Poly Kai, you said sound like Cobra oh, yeah. Kai. <laughs> and then yeah, somebody okay. pointed out that uh, Johnny was Steve McQueen's son. Nephew? What was I'm it? looking this up, man. That doesn't make that. I can't find anything to, to back that up. Uh oh. I wanted to be like, I wanted to like share my 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 amazement. And right now, they're, apparently, that's the best kept secret on the internet. <laughs> well, they just made a new one. I don't know if you guys, yeah. anybody's watched that. But he's that. still in it. 
Yeah, he's, he's like the main a, character. It's about him more than it is about uh He's Ralph kind Macchio. of the protagonist, although I did kind of still want to kick him in the face from Crane well, Pose. He's still kind of an a hole. I yeah, mean that hasn't changed. Oh, I mean I'm probably not supposed to say that. He's still kind of a oh. J hole. All right. Um let's rotate this thing. No bending. So I'm gonna use an extension. Uh in Fredo Scale, Fredo Scale is a suite of tools uh, that lets you go through and it just gives you more, a lot of it is similar to this native scale tool, but it gives you more fidelity with how you wanna scale, like uh, scaling across planes or that sort of thing. My favorite part of it, of the whole thing, no question, is the radial bending. So what radial bending lets you do is choose a set of geometry, pick a point of rotation, and you actually pick the, I don't know, the, I, I'll see what terms it uses, but basically the area of influence that's going to be distorted by that bend. So let me do this. Let me, I want to rotate this straight up. So I'm going to go green and say rotate all the way down to the end. And then my target point's going to be way down there. Ah, it's not far enough down. Okay, so Chad McQueen is not Johnny. He's one of, he's one of the other guys. Oh, okay. So yeah, there he is, but he's just, he was Dutch. Do you remember Dutch? I don't remember Dutch. I, don't I mean, I kind of remember, when I see a picture of him, I remember the picture. Well, we should probably put him on the forum then. Yeah, he was not the, uh, he was not put him in the body bag guy. He was the only <laughs> other person that really mattered. That's, that's the skinny guy who got kicked out for kicking him in the knee? That was, that was the <laughs> yeah. body bag guy? Okay, yeah. let's try this again. So um, yeah, so we're gonna go to green. And I did that totally wrong. So uh, I'm going to pick the where I'm going to rotate from and use all of that as my distorted area. There we go. Ew. That didn't Ooh, work. Neat. It kind of looks like wings in there. That kind of looks yeah. like, uh, yeah, that's not good. I didn't also didn't get any, everything. I missed the end of his fingertips. All right. Let's go from here. Here. Hey, everybody's talking about UHF. I'm gonna be honest; it's been so long since I've seen UHF that the Weird Al movie. Actually, yeah, <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, it was a long time ago. Uh, did you know that turtles are nature's suction cups? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, still gotta be. I mean, hey, we love Kramer, but all-time best Michael Richards spots. Might be UHF. Um, all right, let's get focused here. Stop it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure. Out, I'm trying to figure out how much geometry to grab to uh, rotate this thing. All right, that might be. That might get me closer. No, that was not it. Ooh. Maybe I need it's to, some weird, weird curvatures. I've never sure. done this before, but maybe maybe if I actually bring my rotation point way back here. That, that looked closer, but I don't want to go that far out. I want to go like this. Far out, man. No, nah, that just that just totally pulls it apart. Ah! Now I got a Tron thing going on. All right, let's go back to grabbing all this. Let's come in here and just start the rotation even further back. No, it's, I've never had to do this before. I am totally surprised by this. This is, this is embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. I mean, it's cool. I like this. This is, this is fun, fun for me. It's creating a cool character, but uh, it's not what I want. So we're going to have to go back to the native tools, which is cool. So I'm going to go grab this. Bring it up a little. I'm going to use move to scoot it in a little. I'm going to grab less of it, like this much. Rotate again. Green. So, like, based on your, based on your book, the book you wrote, uh, and a lot of the stylings, would you say that you, your, your art, as an artist, you're more a sculptor than anything else? Um, I would say... Going all the way back, 
I, I would call myself an illustrator more than anything else. Um, okay. Because that is my primary thing that I've done uh, over the years has been related to illustration. So, uh, but having said that, I grew up nerding out so hard over comic books that uh, I spent a lot of time, may not show right now, but worrying about things like anatomy <laughs> and how, that, how bodies go together. Uh, You're past that point in your life. But apparently I care less now because this is getting weird. All right. So, well, you know, sometimes you get put on a spot. That's right. It's a little tricky. That's right. Well, and what I don't want to do is I don't want to spend the next two hours <laughs> tweaking this thing necessarily. Well, I don't know. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing today? <laughs> you, got any, you got any other plans? You know what you, you probably should save this in T-Pose before you, so that there's the original. Did you make a copy? Oh, yes, I did. Okay, good. I didn't see you do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that does uh, not Andy look said good you with the now one. have the... the the policeman from YMCA. Yeah. Doing stop. So you could you could just go YMCA with these poses instead of trying to get all That's true. We could. But that would be multiple poses. Because well the, we might be able to the crane's gonna get the crane's gonna get tricky because you're gonna have to rotate the arm so that the hand is you know, butterfly or like bird wings or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, I guess I guess we, that kind we, of we can make it we can make we do it. We knew this. We knew this. We knew this. Uh, maybe we should say right now this, this is not going to be perfect. What's what's happening here? It's it's going to be something. I will tell you that <laughs> right now. Definitively something. You know what I always think of when I I, I say that myself was there's another obscure ish. Well, not not really. This is not obscure. Uh, remember in Teen Wolf when yes. uh, he's getting all he's getting all popular and they're doing that montage of oh wolves are so cool, and he's in the play <laughs> and he comes in. His teen wolf, he's all dressed up in his military. Captain, burn the field. Like, totally does a terrible job. Director's like, Mr. 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 Wolf. That was really something. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime I refer to something as being really something, I'm probably saying that this is, this is, not, this is not awesome. It's funny. As, so I had... It's, it was, this is actually only a Jody reference or Jody and Devin. Devin's not here, so he's not going to be able to, to, to. Verify my claims that we have been, like we have been camping somewhere. Are you still there? Can you hear me? What happened? <laughs> I, I hit. Was that you shutting me? I hit Siri on accident. And when you came back in, you no. went, you went, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I saw Siri pop up. Uh, anyway, at the park ranger, uh, we were telling her some story we thought was so cool. And she goes, well, isn't that something? Which feels very much the same thing. Like, that's it's very non-committal. I'm not impressed so yeah. much as acknowledging that you it's not nothing. <laughs> you have spoke. <laughs> yeah. How about that? All right, I'm grabbing the geometry from this half and just copying it over here. Ah, uh, good call. Yeah. Simplify. Work smarter, not dumber. No, harder. Don't work hard. Don't work hard. No, that's not what I want to say either. All right, this little... Oh, so uh, I didn't... Got a couple, couple pieces to clean up, though. I have to make a note of when in the, the video that happened, I guess... I guess we'll call it about an hour and a half in so we can come back and look at that after that. Cause I think everybody following along at home is just like, what? I hope so. Did you guys hear that? Did you hear slow mo Jody? <laughs> Cause it sounded just normal uh, to me, but oh, okay. it might've just been everything in my I was saying bit. was coming out of my head. As soon as you started talking, looked over to the monitor and you're, you're, you're going mm, like slow like that. So. <laughs> yeah. Gamborg said it was spooky. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exciting. All right, so the other thing that does happen with the crane pose is you get a little bit of a, a forward tilt like this. All right, and then 
this leg right here. Yeah, I disabled the uh, the Siri because she only comes up whenever I don't want her to come up. Yeah, it's always the worst possible time. And the fact that it's right next to delete for whatever reason seems to compound my issues. So I keep running into this with Restream where I'll go to... Uh, like click next to a person's name and then respond so that it automatically prepins my comment with their name. But the option to reply is right next to block user. So I'm constantly blocking people and then having to go <laughs> unblock them. I'm like, sorry. I noticed that actually, now that you, that you mentioned that. That's a, that was a, a poor design choice for sure. Yeah. All right, so I'm realizing I got an, a problem with the knee that I've created there's just not quite enough geometry here for it. I should have uh, bulked. What are, you, what are we doing here? Try that again. Ooh, Yeesh. it's a little weird, that thigh. Yeah, things, things got uh, awkward. All right, that's better. And now I can grab all of this. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to rotate that back just a touch more, and then I can move it up. Nice. So, do you remember, like, when when you watched this as as a young younger version of Aaron? Mm -hmm. Right. It seemed like the whole intent of this was that he could lift up his hurt leg and kick the guy and then come back and land on that leg. But that's not really what happens. Right? No, he lands on his hurt leg and it, and he like screams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Looks, it looks terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's really, it's in the, in the big, in the big movie scheme of things. Sure. It's a great, it was this great moment where he did this kind of this cool thing. But really, if you're in a fight, that's like the most telegraphed looking move ever. You just be like, well, I'm just going to move over here on the side where the leg is lifted up so yeah. that he can't kick me. Why, why are you doing that? Call me crazy. That looks pretty good. Yeah, because, so, uh, yeah, if you're doing a uh, any architectural work and there's any sort of uh, dojos in your work, you can you can come download this and just throw it right Ooh, in there. Use it. Oh, that looks weird. You got yeah, some yeah. angles are, are better than others. All right, so you remember that... Uh, Daniel San's girlfriend, I guess Johnny's ex girlfriend, is that right? Uh, yeah. Was, was she was a, she, was, she was kind of the point of contention, right? Yes, she was. So she was Marty's girlfriend in Back to the Future Two, but in Back to the Future One, it was a different girl. That is also true. They yeah. tricked us. That's the life of an it girl, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, speaking of great eighties music, I was like, after, after work yesterday, I went out and was working in my shop and I just started playing my, uh, my Google playlist called eighties montage. I was just listening to <laughs> like eighties, like those, the songs just, just that happen synthesizers and well, and Joe Esposito's out there telling me I'm the best around. It was awesome. And then there's a, a fair bit of Huey Lewis in the news. That works. I, I've, I, was, I was realizing there's really nothing in modern day that can compete with those great, the music that really came out of 80s uh, popular movies. They, they really, yeah, they really, they really had a thing. Because <laughs> it was all like, <clears throat> like sunglasses on, fist in the air. That's how every... Uh, 80s movie song had that moment at some point. Where just, you know, Bender, yeah. Ben, the picture of of Bender at the end of uh, Breakfast Club. You know, when he yeah. walks off, John Hughes, Air Punch. That is yep. what 80s Judd, music looks like. Judd Hirsch. Judd Nelson. N Judd Nelson. <laughs> Wait, who's Judd Hirsch? Now I got to remember which one. Who that is? Is that the guy from Taxi? <laughs> yeah. yeah <it> <laughs> 
He did stuff in the 80s too, but it was less less awesome. Valley Girl. That was that was a solid. I had, I had such a crush on my girl from that. So I saw something recently. They're making the re, they're remaking it. There's a new movie, an 80s or a Valley Girl movie coming out. Well, then it's got to be a parody, uh, right? You can't do an 80s movie and not make fun of the 80s. Uh, yeah, uh, it looks like it might not be an 80s movie. It might be what it's like in the Valley now. Oh, like two know. days in the Valley. It's only going to be worth it. <laughs> Different movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it could really only be worth it if we bring, uh, what's his name? What crap is it? Nicholas, Nick, Nicky uh, Coppola in as the, uh, like the father of the new Valley boy. I don't know. Do you know Nicholas Cage was, was is Nick, is it Nick Cage is uh, a Coppola? I did not know that. And he was also in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I apparently know more than I need to know about Nick Cage Nick, was Nicholas Cage. That I don't yeah, know. He was just like one of he was just part of like the the posse that was hanging out with uh hanging out with the, the skater crowd, surfer crowd. Sean Penn. Yeah. What is his name? Spicoli. Spicoli. I'm like wanted to call him Lip Nicky, but that's <laughs> the kid from Ah, uh, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Caffeine's wearing off, apparently. Apparently Jeez. so. Yeah, Nick Cage is, hasn't been up to a whole lot. I think he's still upset that he wasn't. He didn't get to be Superman. He's never really fully recovered from that. Yeah. Poor guy. Okay. Well. I was thinking of where to go with this. Because I kind of feel like... Uh, he was just known as Brad's Bud in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> Brad's Bud. Yeah. Seems like a Man. marriage you want a joke so, in there somewhere. Probably. 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 Wow, man, that's a long time ago. 82. Valley Girls in 83. All right, time to save. All right. And then put a save on his shirt. Put a save shirt on him. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to re-soften these guys. Okay, so the girl that played uh, the original Valley Girl. Sorry, I'm hanging on IMDb now. Uh, <laughs> Julie Richmond. She's going to be in the new one as a shop girl. So she's at least going to be in it. So I guess right. maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So we it's... never, I don't know. I, I have doubts. But speaking of 80s, okay. and I know I've, I've mentioned this before, but anybody who's like thinks about the 80s and has any sort of like, you know, positive memories, you got to check out Goldberg's. It's just, it's just so good. It's just so 80s. I can't. I guess so. Maybe. 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 I don't know. You just can't uh, get okay, into so it, here's huh? the, Here's the... Dis yeah, I don't know. I felt like it was pandering to my 80s nostalgia. The yeah. fact they were trying too hard. Absolutely. I could be wrong. <laughs> no, that's true. Um, so Let's this see is how to make the it. new Valley Girl. As, as J Jody tells us about Valley Girl, I'm going to yeah. show you. <laughs> no, I don't want to step on your thing, but... Uh, I'm entirely too attached to this at this point, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, Make a custom texture using only SketchUp. So, uh, go ahead, Jody. Ooh. Uh, oh, no, I was just going to say, it is based in the 80s, and it's going to be a musical adaptation. I'm out. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm always a fan of a good musical, but I don't know. <clears throat> I just don't know. Nope. 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 There, there it is. I feel like we could do something to improve the 3D text tool because I always make it too small. No matter what I'm doing, my text is always too small and a little weird. Yeah, I get that. YouTube just shouted at Oklahoma, and I'm not, I'm not quite sure. 
I don't know uh, if I Because you said musical, and some people just oh. do that. Uh, some people okay, yell. So I'm f- some people yell Liza Minnelli. Some people oh, okay. yell Oklahoma. All right, all right, fine. I'm from Oklahoma, so whenever I just see that, I'm just like, wait, do they, do they know the truth? Oklahoma, you. <laughs> um, so I just I I threw a 3D text, not extruded, just flat 3D text, and I just dropped it right on the surface, and now I am just deleting the edges. All right. And I didn't actually intersect that, so let's... Uh, You're going to want to do that. going to want to do that. There we go. Now we broke it. Well, gives you something to do since you modeled your dang old character too fast. I know. Sorry. I put that behind my head. We'll go grab some white. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see. Uh, Align view, so I'm looking straight at it. in here and I'm going to start by polygon painting just where where I want this shirt to go just to separate it from the rest of the geometry Awesome. Oh, nope, didn't get around here. Once I separate that and fill the, oop, didn't fill, didn't finish. I feel confident about what, what I just did. Um, I can actually fill that by hitting uh, the option key to fill connected. All right, now, oh yeah. Uh, I need some geometry to drop this in on. Import. Oops, I imported as an image. Import again. Import as texture. All right. Now, I can say paint this, and I'll do the same thing. Option to paint on connected. Oops. Yeah. Wrong button. It's all connected. Control. Oh. Well, that, that kind of worked. Oh, I didn't make it a project part texture. Of the letters, part of the letters are up there in the uh, the armpit. I didn't make it a projected texture. I just made it a regular one. Oh, that's embarrassing. Let's try that again. That's, it is a ter- total embarrassment. There we go. I like how he didn't have how he doesn't have pants on them so it just kind of suggests <laughs> it, that he's it really it really <laughs> calls calls attention to the lack of his other clothing for sure maybe he needs it just a big a big save unitard i kind of want the shirt now to say save ferris but you know just rolling with the 80s thing huh yes i was there i remember it all right i'm gonna go re shrink this a little bit and position this so the saves right behind his chest line by view there we go and I'm now not familiar with the black slacks black slacks song but 
Transom recommends that he wears black slacks. Uh, still a little too big. No. So close. He's got a smeary E in his p smeary E pit. All right, I'm gonna try. <laughs> just gonna right click on the surface <laughs> again. Texture position, and we're just gonna make it even smaller. And then just need to accept that you're just gonna keep popping up. Uh, sample it. Shift click. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we just need to move it. Just a little bit. Pick it. Oh. Pick it. Shift click. Oh, there we go. We did it. Woo! Unfortunately, it is going to say Evos on his back, but that's okay. Which uh, we understand to be the Italian word for save. That's right. Okay, so I guess we could come in here. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> about what I was doing for half a second there. <laughs> All right, we'll come in here. Shift, oh boy, undo, undo. Ooh. Oh wait, no, that's fine. Just, just giving him uh oh, that's worse. Right, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's, okay, let's. Uh... So did you ever watch uh, the new Doctor Who, the newer version of Doctor Who? I have not watched Doctor Who since sometime in the 80s. Okay. Well, so I can't say like, so this is the first episode to me, but it's basically the first one of the kind of them restarting it back up. There's like one season with Christopher Eccleston as the main, as the Doctor Who. But in one of the episodes there, all of, they do something and all of the mannequins in the city are, are all coming to life. And they're just walking around and they look I like that. basically like these guys. Like their faces is just kind of like, eh, there's nothing really to the, uh, nothing to the face. And they're all just walking around and it's, it's pretty cheesy stuff. I mean, I don't know if you, if you remember, but a lot of the, the special effects in Doctor Who are uh, cheesy. Well, they are. I mean, I feel like Doctor Who set an expectation for what was acceptable for sci-fi and BBC, I guess, in general. They There's were a lot autons, of, a lot of people, apparently. A lot, a lot of people chiming in here with their expertise. Good thing you didn't say anything. Ignorance. Yeah, didn't say anything bad about Doctor Who because uh, it's like some people might have uh, come at you. Yeah. All right, I'm going to grab I'm not this scared of them because they're Doctor Who fans. Ooh. Ooh. gonna just gonna keep modeling silently that's better let's uh grab this space this line and this line and just use those two with scale about the middle to pull us back out a little bit that's a little better um Yeah, of course, the, uh, the nesting consciousness can make plastic live, Jody. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, I have nothing against Doctor Who. I just never, never really got into it. And uh, honestly, it's, it's uh, intimidating at this point. What, how many seasons are there? Oh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. You can jump at any point. I mean, you'll have to pick your favorite doctor, of course. Mm. I got so many things to pick right now. I, don't, I just don't need another thing. I think we as a family stopped watching right around the time Matt Smith left. So now we're not, we're, we're kind of out of the loop. Not for any reason other than we just stopped watching it. It's like harder to watch. It's hard to watch here in the States if you don't have the right channels. I, I really like, uh, uh, I'm just blanking his name now that I said I really like him. The guy who was in, uh, Good Omens, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, since we're trying to remember his name together, then we're going to forget. Luckily, someone is going to say it right about Good now. Omens. He was also uh, Kill Killgrave. In he's Tenet. our favorite. He's in our Tenet. favorite doctor. 
Yeah. yeah. He is our favorite doctor. I just house. think he's one of those guys who I could just watch. He just, he picks a character and he just throws everything he's got into it and just, oh, I, I mean, he's, he's just such a blast to watch. Like you enjoy what you you're should. doing and it's fun to see. So he had a show Broad Church, which was also really good. But he's I did of, watch that too. But he's like he's serious in that, so it's kind of weird to see. He is serious, but he's also a little bit unhinged. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He's he's got some emotional issues. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a lot of fun. I definitely loved him in Good Omens, though. Yeah, Good Omens. Was good. That's it, recommending TV for people. Uh, David Tennant and uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. Um, man, they just did such a good job. It, that's that so you uh, know okay so here's some weird trivia. yeah kai's saying that too guy, good omens uh the other guy was married to kate beckinsale hmm. who is like in uh she's in all those vampire movies underworld movies and click really with adam shit. sandler <laughs> that's right she probably would not admit that <laughs> my favorite beckinsale movie easily gotta be click <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is his name? I know his name. It's gonna I know it's, 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 it's someone else's name too. Who's the other guy? Come on, guys. Who, who's the other guy in uh, Good Omens? Michael Sheen. I don't know, but they they were both very. Are you ignoring good. me? Yeah, I, I said his name, Michael Sheen. Oh, I'm sorry. I talked over you, Michael Sheen. Of course, like Charlie Sheen yeah. or Martin Sheen or. But not not related at all no it makes sense he doesn't even have dark hair if he was related he'd have to be estevez like emilio was <laughs> he probably would I wonder what happened to emilio anyway um well whatever it is he did he, he probably turned out better than uh mr tiger blood things did not go well there all right <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a way to be remembered tiger blood yeah. Yeah. so wheels just came off and you just just Kept his foot on the accelerator. Oy. Um, All right. Awkward the Sheens, silence. Oh, now. the Sheens changed their name to Sheens. Sorry, I was reading comments. I, I stopped oh, okay. talking. So Estevez was the real first name or real names. That's interesting. Yeah. Everybody else. Everybody else was a stage name. Huh. I had, why Sheen? Why? Why? That. Why was Sheen's the name to choose? Because it's shiny, maybe? It's got a sheen to it? Could be. Uh, What's the kind of name you want if you're going to sell, sell cars? All right. With that, I, th I think we will, uh, we'll, just, we'll just be done early today. No, I mean, it is Friday. Give everybody a chance to uh, right. do whatever their Friday things are. Yeah. Cool. Well, hey, I mean, uh, that's, that, was, that was still a good time. That was two hours of, of uh, unique modeling that, uh, it's not stuff I've done before. I'm going to go back and watch the, uh, the Monster Zero video. Uh, yes. Because I was thinking about doing, we did, uh, so Anna asked me to model anything, you know, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the first. You mean last year? <laughs> I think it was the first. Well, in the pilot year of SketchUp Live, how about that? We <laughs> we did a uh, a human face, which we did it was fairly high poly, and it was was uh, you know it was it was it was good. It, but but we did a high poly, and I was thinking about doing that. And I was like, no, I, would, I guess more of a. I wanted to come up with something that would actually be pretty usable and. Not too hard to pose. Um, that's one of the things that if you look at other software where you have, you know, rigging software and that kind of stuff where you can actually set joints and, and that kind of stuff, it's a little bit easier to pose that. My thought was how much could we do with SketchUp and low poly seemed to make more sense. Um, I didn't think it was going to go as quick as it did though. But uh, maybe, maybe one day we'll make a, make a higher poly rendition or version of a person or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was fun. Kai's heading off to bed and uh, planning on working yes. all weekend. Sorry to hear, buddy. But yes, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we're there. We did it. This is what we did. Uh, with that. Yeah, that looks, looks real nice. It's really something. That's really, it's 
Free. You really made something there, didn't you? There we go. I got. I got to. I got to tee up my thumbnail in my my warehouse. So we'll save that. There we go. That's how it'll go up. Yeah, because the thumbnail's actually been sitting there as just a black SketchUp. Yeah, it's it's hard to get the Locks thumbnail loaded the before time. we have a model of what we did. <laughs> So anyhow, enough mumbling. You guys, thank you for hanging out with us. I hope everybody is staying safe and sane. Uh, don't forget to get your finish your house, finish this house model up on our forum because we could be talking to you next week or so. Uh, but anyhow, you know, take care of yourself, stay safe, keep using SketchUp, and we will talk to you later. See ya. Take care, guys. Well, I can't seem to. There we.